smells like Sunday in here. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. Yes, it is Sunday. It's it a beautiful Sunday. Sunday fall day. Uh, today we are going to be talking about invisible disabilities and it's invisible disability week. Awareness week. week. Awareness week. It's the third week in October. And if you don't know, an indiv invisible disability, disability. is um, just what it sounds like. And a disability that's not immediately obvious. Right. Like and somebody who has a um, brain damage. You may mm -hmm. not physically notice that right. they have a disability. And that includes um, conditions like multiple sclerosis, seizure disorders, autism, uh, right, autism, um, and severe allergies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people have such sudden and severe allergic reactions that they're incapacitated mm -hmm. and people might just assume that they're under the influence of drugs or alcohol and that's not the case. Um, so. Yeah, it's always kind of good to ask people, do you have a medical condition? Exactly. To That's rule that in or out as to what might be going on. Right, right. Um, people with invisible disabilities face a lot of stigma and um, judgment. Um, in fact, they, the um, in, keep on saying indivisible, sorry, invisible. invisible Disabilities Association, thank you very much for your information. They have a book published for people with invisible disabilities called but you look good which i really love because so many times people will say well you look good you look fine everything looks to be great but inside you're suffering from maybe chronic fatigue right. or um or even at the age of 33 i suffered a stroke after um my son was born i had a vascular stroke uh in my brain a cerebrovenous thrombosis, and you would not know. Um, no, you wouldn't because you were able to say vascular venous. What? Cerebrovenous thrombosis. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can say that. Yes, I like, can. It, what a, <laughs> you're a hero. <laughs> I couldn't get my mouth around that. Um, but I looked fine. Um, right? Even when I went to the ER, I could still talk, and I passed all the neuro uh, tests. You know, so I was very fortunate and very lucky and very blessed. Right. Um, As we all are, that you're still here. <clears throat> so, um, and one of the other things we wanted to touch on was the um, severe allergic reactions. And uh, so many um, Americans and, and other people from other countries have um, severe allergic reactions, including asthmatic or neurological reactions to... Um, fragrances in the world. So sometimes uh, you might walk into um, a shop or like a Yankee Candle shop. Yeah, and, and nothing against Yankee Candle. No, love them. That's great, but for people with severe allergies, that can be a real trigger. And again, they might it might come off as looking like they're under the influence of drugs or alcohol because of their severe allergic reaction. So what the Invisible Disabilities Association has done is they've created an like an id tag like a medical alert mm -hmm. yeah that's one thing also like if you have a child um who's on the spectrum or has some type of medical issue or a, an adult with disabilities who's nonverbal, they actually make seat belt uh, covers for police and fire so if you were in a car accident or something or had a medical emergency uh, they would know and be alerted by that right away or the medical alert bracelets. Um, you know, police and fire are kind of trained to look for those types of things. Right, and they say things like, I'm nonverbal, mm -hmm. my emergency contact. Their um, name. Right, I have diabetes, I mm -hmm. have a seizure disorder, I have MS. Mm -hmm. So that uh, right away, uh, emergency responders know how to help you and right. what to do for you. Then and the onus isn't on the person with the condition to explain, no, I'm not under the influence. I'm having a medical situation. Right. Um, and one of the things that happens a lot in schools is um, kids are, are labeled as lazy or spoiled. Um, when really what's happening is they're struggling with a, a neurological difference right. or an invisible disability. So, like dyslexia. Absolutely. Where a kid may not be academically performing at their intellect of communication with you. Right. Can be a clear sign that there's a uh, learning disability. 
Exactly. So I, I'm also going to include in our references a, um, an article from the National Education Association um, for teachers and, and people in education or caregivers to, um, to be aware of indivisible. <laughs> indivisible. <laughs> It's going to be one of those words, um, invisible disabilities in their students and, and how to try to tease out what could actually be the best way to help these people. So we'll put, we'll put that in the, in the, in the, in comment. the comment section, uh, in, the, um, in the description section. Sorry. That, isn't that funny how one word can just jack your whole yeah. train of thought? And don't forget if, if you need something for your car, for the seat belt or an alert bracelet, you can find them almost anywhere online. Right. What, um, one of the things you can do is um, online search the Invisible Disabilities Association and they have a marketplace where you can purchase these type of um, medical alerts. Not that we're endorsing anybody because we have no affiliation with them Absolutely at all. no affiliation, but we want to make people aware of resources that are available to them mm -hmm. and make, because that's what we do here. Bridge right. builders of diversity is build bridges between the disabled community and, and the, the typical, typical population so that we all understand each other. Um, and Roberta is a special educator I am. and I'm a mom of a child with Down syndrome and my older son actually has dyslexia as well. So very familiar with the... If you like our contact... Con oh. <laughs> She's having trouble talking today. If you like our, our content, content, thank you. <laughs> please like, share, subscribe, push, comment below. Push all the buttons. Smash those <clears throat> buttons. And let us know if there's something that you have a burning question or something that you'd love us to talk about because that's what we're all about is providing us a platform of mutual understanding. Absolutely. In the meantime, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you.